Yeah, hello, I'm Trevor Gore from Gore Guitars in Sydney, Australia. Um, what I'm here to do today, I'm here in Robbie O'Brien's workshop, is to talk to you about how to do some of the uh, signal analysis and um, measurement that we do on guitars. I wrote a couple of books, Contemporary Acoustic Guitar Design and Contemporary Acoustic Guitar Build, which use these techniques for the designing of the acoustics of uh, acoustic guitars. Uh, they rely on measurement systems, and what we're going to do today is look up how to set those measurement systems uh, in order to make the measurements we need to build the guitars. The detail about how to use all those measurements and what they mean is all in the books. If we went into that, we'd have uh, video uh, years long, so I'm trying to avoid that. Yeah, I don't have that much time, Trevor. So. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> neither do I anymore. So we're just going to cut to uh, how to do the practical measurement techniques that I use in the book. I've had quite a lot of emails and uh, conversations with people who have trouble setting these things up and knowing exactly how to do them. So what we're going to do today is cover off on those items. And essentially there are five. There is how to set up a microphone uh, on a Windows computer. We'll look at that in both Windows 7 and Windows 10. We'll look up at how to generate a guitar frequency response curve using Visual Analyzer, which is a Spectrum Analyzer program. Uh, we'll also look at how to measure the elastic properties of uh, the wood you're about to use, the thicknessing techniques and whatnot, and uh, how to use these measurements is all in the book. We're not going to cover off on that today. It's just going to how to be how to do the uh, measurements of the various modes of vibration that we're interested in. We'll uh, also look at the bridge rotation test, how to understand how stiff your soundboard is and how it responds to the tension of the strings, the torque that they exert on the soundboard. And finally, we'll look at a property called monopole mobility, which is actually a measure of the responsiveness of your guitar. First up, we'll have a look at setting up a microphone, first of all in Windows 7 and then in Windows 10. And then we'll look at setting up Visual Analyzer in Windows 7 and Windows 10, which are pretty similar, but different enough to make it a problem. So let's get right on with that. Mm -hmm. 